We're really focused now on the suborbital system, New Shepard, uh, to take tourists to space. So we're going to teach ourselves how to do that, to test the system, make sure it's safe, uh, and then when we're ready to start selling tickets for paying passengers. Blue Origin is uh, working on a suborbital system uh, named New Shepard after Alan Shepard, the first American in space. Uh, we've flown uh, the first vehicle to space and back five times. It was a historic uh, first flight on November the 23rd, 2015. We've retired that vehicle uh, after our most recent test and we're preparing a new version of that vehicle to fly at the end of 2017. It has uh, the capacity to launch six astronauts into a suborbital flight above the 100 kilometer mark of the von Karman line. New Glenn will be capable of taking satellites and ultimately people uh, into Earth orbit. It's named after John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, and that vehicle is now in development we're working on the BE-4 engines uh, that would power that rocket into space. We've already signed up two uh, first customers, UTELSAT and OneWeb, for launches uh, that will start uh, in late 2020 and into 2021. The first stage is fully reusable. It's designed to carry the second stage fairing payload to, to orbit and then to land 600 kilometers downrange on a ship. So uh, the engines are designed for 100 uses. We won't fly the system 100 times, but it's a very robust booster.